three, two, one. Off we go. Good morning, it's the day before the race, Saturday morning, fairly early, um, this is the last little run I'm going to do before the race, a little easy shake out run, I'll head to Manchester around midday and then check into the hotel, probably eat early, go to bed early, this week's been really chill for training, it's just tapering down. I was going to do a little tiny bit more speed I've not really done that because I've got a little soreness in the quad so just keeping an eye on that and I don't want to make that any worse so it should be okay I'm going to have an Epsom salt bath tonight in the hotel and uh, I should relax it a little bit but yeah, a lot better than it was two weeks ago so yeah right, I'm going to finish this easy run We've arrived in Manchester now uh, Staying in town and we're gonna get some lunch now. Uh, fresh pasta. Um, had to stand all the way in the trains because they were absolutely packed. So we were all cramped up, so it wasn't great. But uh, glad to get here now and yeah, just gonna eat some lunch, have more pasta, carb load. Oh, I'm meeting Matt as well. If you watch the Sheffield video, uh, that's who I ran with at the start. He's also running Manchester tomorrow. I'll probably meet up with him later for some food. What are you going for? 3.45. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pacing for 3.30 and I'm going to get 3.30. Get 3 Unless the current is here. Here. <laughs> So Matt's going to record a little video after and then we'll get it on to see if he hits his goal. Should have an happy face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so keep watching to find out. Uh, good morning, it's race day. It's not that cold, I thought it was going to be colder. So yeah, not too bad. Perfect weather conditions, it's going to stay dry. I've had a good night's sleep, I've been loading carbohydrates and electrolytes all night. This morning, feel feel good. We're going to get the tram now to where it starts. It's about 15 minute, 20 minute journey. Uh, it starts near Old Trafford. Boo! But yeah, feeling good. Probably won't be able to film too much today. I'll, I'll do it a few times, maybe. Yeah, maybe a few, a few times, I'll see how it go, but I'm really gonna try and concentrate and not worry about getting too much footage. I'm gonna join this queue now. Quite a fair way. Let's see goes down this road. So it's quite a fair walk away. Uh, down to the road now. I've been told there's more toilets, and I hope there is. Uh, probably need to use it before we start. Walking down to the uh, start line now. Still don't start until half an hour, but it's not as cold as I thought it was. This belt's really bulky. And the sharpie didn't work. Oh dear! So permanent marker sharpie let me down, but oh. I can still see it. Oh. 
found the uh, 315 pacer so I'm gonna follow this guy and probably just keep him behind me and if I keep him behind me I'll uh, break the Berlin time so that's the sort of plan and get as close to three hours as possible start line just down there Oh, we're walking now, we're walking now. So, let's stay with this pace and then I will keep him behind me. Three, two, one, off we go! I think we're off. Can't get the bat. It'll be great. Good luck to all the Stockport crew, looking beautiful in the sunshine. Sunny Manchester on a Sunday morning. That's it, we're off Manchester Marathon. We're kicking off now. Right, so I'm not going to be filming too much. Well, that very long, I'll do very, very intermittent. Probably want to take my gels after I take my gels, probably, probably like maybe five times on this course. I'll film a little bit and then I'll concentrate, nail down. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, just hit 7k. Uh, average pace 421. I'm gonna take some water, take some gels. So I'm not gonna talk too long, just show you this crowd. Atmosphere's pretty good, you can hear. Alright, we're gonna take a gel, take the water. Give it a brief. Feeling good though. Okay, 14k in, I'm going to take another gel and some water and drink, uh, so I'll keep it brief, I feel quite good, weather's perfect, and yeah, average pace, let me have a look, average pace is 416, just hit the 14k mark, so I'm really close to running for a sub 3, but I think I should tone it down a bit, got a bit carried away, so yeah, so far so good though. See you in a bit. So I've just hit the half marathon mark, but mile 13, 21k in. Feel great, really. Uh, taking a huge risk. I'm taking a huge risk, as you guessed it. I'm going for the sub three today. <laughs> if there's any race to risk it, is this one because I have Amsterdam in October to readjust if this completely, if the wheels fall off. But I feel great, so why not go for it? You know, take risks, come on. Average pace was, what is it? 4.15, 21K in, I feel great. Okay, 28K in, average pace 4.14. Um, going well so far, but this is where you find out what you made out of. What you made out of. It's hard to see by this training, but so far so good. So, going a bit too fast here. But yeah, 28k in, 414 average pace. That's it, I'm gonna take some water. I'm water and some, uh, another gel. See you in a bit. Ah, uh, 85k in. Keep it real brief. Average pace, 414. 35k in, take some water, take some gel, I'll see you in the finish line. <laughs> events you know it's just something spectacular and this race and again when they took the race over they've just plowed lots of investment top second biggest marathon in the uk of course is behind london marathon well it's not a bad time absolutely talking about heroes 
Three, three hours, nine seconds. Three hours, nine seconds. Amazing. I got the foot there and you finished that. Oh, God. I've tried for a sub three. So I tried for a sub three. So, so everything is hurting, I'm telling you. God damn it. Three, three hours, nine seconds. For God's sake, man. That was brutal. Uh, everything is hurting. Oh, that was hard. That was so tough. Can't believe how tough that was. Thank you. Uh, physically breaking. Mentally, I was just getting destroyed in the last 5k. I saw you going fast before. It was so difficult to maintain the pace. It's just so hard. Oh, God. I just can't describe how tough that was. I hated every second of that last 5k. I've got near three hours, so I hope, I hope that's enough for Boston qualification. So, I could be going to America next year. So yeah, let's see what happens. I enter the pool and see what happens. And I couldn't film the end, absolutely no chance. Oh, everything's hurting, god damn it. I'm gonna sit down a minute. Jesus. Oh, oh. The hamstrings. Oh. What do you need? No, I just need to sit down a second. No, I need to. I'll, I'll just sit down here. Uh, I can't sit down. It felt really good, so I went for three, three hours. Every time I saw a hill, it's not like completely flat. But when I saw a hill, I was, I was breaking inside mentally. The last few k of that race, never felt anything like that. Where everything is just hurting, like groin, hamstring. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'd have been good to get the sub three, but you know, my key race is in Amsterdam to get, you know, I'll go for 255 or something, 257. So if you're sort of following my journey, I wasn't actually meant to go for sub three today, but I tried to because I felt great. Um, but I'm so confident of breaking that now. I trained for a pace of like. 420 to 425 in training but in the race I got a little bit uh, confident and then tried to go for the sub three which I didn't get by nine seconds so okay fair enough I'm happy with that so Boston qualifying time done let's see if it's enough I get into the pool uh, the cut off time like I said was three hours five minutes I've absolutely destroyed that time Really getting broken in from about 36k, I think. It really started to break me. But yeah, the last few k absolutely was breaking me. <laughs> in the last few k, everything my body, my groin, my hip flexors, my hamstring, my glute muscle is so sore right now. And then my lungs. But actually, my head was just pounding. And I don't know when I finished that finish when I crossed the finish line I was just swaying left and right and I was like am I gonna faint here? Oh, God. I was like so gone hello just want to start by saying big thanks to Will and the channel for all of the advice training tips etc up until this point I think without that I wouldn't have even made a half marathon, let alone a full marathon. So thanks very much. And big congratulations on Will and his time. So the, the marathon itself was pretty difficult. It was certainly an eye opener for me. Massive experience, huge event. Um, didn't really know what to expect. Obviously setting a baseline for the first ever marathon and it was truly an eye opener. Um, especially in probably the last 7k which the wheels for me completely fell off um, and showed me the darker side to running so I think a little bit more mental toughness is definitely required on my part and I think next time I need to certainly put a little bit more strength training in and a little bit more effort in terms of the, the long ones I did I'm just not sure I did quite enough. Saying that really really 
really pleased with the result. Um, I know Will was sort of forcing me into a 3.30, which was good as a stretch goal. Um, but in the back of my mind, my goal A was under four hours. So absolutely smashed that with a three hours 37. My Strava splits right there, so you can see exactly when the wheels fell off. So yeah, big thanks and well done to Will. And I look forward to the next one. So see you later, guys.